Welcome to the Soccer Academy. I'm Antonio Suave, your host, and I'm here with Nigel Roberts. And we're bringing you a very special edition of the Soccer Academy from Grand Cayman in the Cayman Islands. Yeah, this is a beautiful place. We've heard so much about it. And we've actually seen, of the ta seen some of the talents here from our soccer camp recently concluded in Orlando. And we're here right now, so we hope to discover it and actually see some of the more beautiful things that this little country boasts. So when we come back, we're going to take a look at the beaches, the soccer, the food, and the spectacular people on this wonderful island. Today we're going to talk about some volley shots, we're going to talk about some turning inside of the foot, outside of the foot, and what we do when we volley the ball, that is, keep our toe pointed down, come all the way through with our laces. And helping me out, as always, is my man Nigel. Hey, what's up, Antonio? Hey, Nigel, what's happening? Taking it easy, enjoying this wonderful place, the people. We won't talk about the food because then you won't concentrate on soccer. So right about now, we're going to get back to the soccer, and then later on, we'll jump into some of the stuff about the food. Right. Well, it's hard not to be happy here because this is a beautiful country, palm trees, beaches, wonderful hospitality, and certainly it's a great place to play soccer. Definitely. And they've got a lot of great soccer players, too, that'll be coming on and helping us to do some demonstration in just a little while. That sounds good, and you're going to see the way that they do it, you know, because soccer is an international game. You have European flavor, South American flavor, so we could bring you something from the Caribbean, too. All right. So why don't we demonstrate a little bit about this volley shot? Sounds good. Kids, remember to pay attention. Look at what he's going to do. Keep the toes pointed down, knee over the ball, and strike all the way through. Right? All the way through the ball. Keep those toes pointed down, eyes on the ball, right? And swing all the way through from the hip. Notice his knee is not swinging up, and his toes are staying down. Make good contact with the ball and go all the way through so you can finish with that nice game-winning shot. Right, so once again, our toes are pointing down. We're leaning over the ball so that the shot stays nice and low and we get enough power on the ball all the way through. an incredible place. I think among all the islands, Cayman has a special and unique quality of being able to go anywhere. You're not confined to any one spot. It is like a small island, but very, very cosmopolitan. Welcome to the Cayman Islands.
Welcome back. You're on with the Soccer Academy. Here we are with our goalkeeper, Gino. Gino, welcome. Thank you. Thank everybody for watching my favorite part of the program. Tony, today we're going to talk about catching the ball and distributing the ball. Right on. All right. You probably don't know a lot about goalkeepers, but let me help you out. All right. Okay? Give me the ball. All right. When the ball comes in, okay, the most basic part of goalkeeping is catching the ball. Okay? First thing we need to do is make sure we keep our eye on the ball, get our body behind the ball. Okay? If we can't catch it properly, at least our body can hit the ball. Good? That sounds great. Got it. Second part is our hand position. Okay? Our hand position needs to be in a W behind the ball. Right. Just like that. That web. See that? Right. Scare you? Yeah, a little Don't bit. Don't let me scare you. <laughs> All right. Listen, after we catch the ball, we bring the ball in, we cradle the ball to a comfortable position, set ourselves up, assess the uh, people on the field, right. and distribute the ball. All right. Right on. Can what I you... show you how it's done? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Got it. See you. All right. All right. Let's get started here. Hey, Paul. Paul. Help hey, me out here for a second. Know. Listen, on, buddy. I want to go over a few things about catching and throwing the ball, all right? All right, let's go. Again, watch. I'm keeping the hands close together, and I'm using my body as a backdrop, okay? All the time. I'm excited when I play in net. Hey, Gino, how come I'm throwing at you and not kicking at you, man? I don't know. I'm supposed to be a forward. What is this throwing stuff? So? Demonstrating just the basics of goalkeeping, okay? okay? You know what this is. Even the players know. Even when you throw in a ball, it's pretty common, isn't it? That's it. W. It's it's behind the ball. Warm, then, huh? That's right. Feel the excitement? I love it, man. All right, let's kick it up a little bit. Kick it up. You want it up a little bit? Here we go. Here we go. Okay? Make sure you use yourself in a good, protective manner. Using your legs as protection, okay? Using your body as a backdrop. And don't forget, your hands always come in contact with the ball first. Okay? Yeah. Are you with me? I hear you, man. All right. Okay, Paul. Yeah, you know. Help me out here. Hold up a second. Right, Listen, I'm we'll talking through this a little bit. Yeah. I want you to help me out. Before the game, I always want to go low. I want to go medium. I want to go high. One side to side. Just so my body, my brain, everything get used to going everywhere the ball might be, okay? okay. Help me out low here for a right, second. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Look. You got me? Yeah. Feet together. Pick up the ball. Look up. Get ready to distribute the ball, okay? One medium. Medium. Here we go. Inside. Oh, medium. Okay? Right into the body. Cushion your body, absorb the shock. Good, good throw, okay? Give me one high. Perfect. Reach out, highest point, catch the ball. Okay, we're moving over. Land on our feet, boom. Now we're going to interview the newly appointed men's national coach of the Cayman Islands, Mr. Marcos Tinoco. How are you doing today? Yes, good. Good. Uh, we we arrived here 40 days and it's a very good surprise. It's very nice country, very nice people, and we are very happy. And for those of you folks at home, Mr. Tinoco hails from Brazil. So coming from Brazil, in terms of the level being the number one country in the world. Where do you think the Cayman Islands is at right now? And in what direction do you think they need to go? And how soon do you think that they could become a perennial force within the region? Yes, the, the first thing that the, the Caribbean football is growing. And we, we expect that the Cayman uh, grow some places up in the ranking. And we think that the, the support that the Caymanian people the players and the CIFA, uh, the, our associations given, we have a chance to go. That sounds real, real good. So we look forward to seeing you in the future. Lots of great things and some big wins. Yes, yes, we hope so. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you. Before we get into the actual shots, 
that is the volley shots, we're going to do a drill that'll help us to touch the ball properly with the instep of our foot. And kids, if you don't have another friend at home or your parents, what you could do is actually try this drill against the wall. All right, now pay attention. Meet the ball, toes pointed down, all the way through, right? It might help to focus on an area, so that's your target. So when you take a shot on goal, you focus on that area too. Whatever you do with the right, do with the left, and come all the way through. Strike that ball, right, meet it, get used to the touch of it, and it'll be okay when you start taking the actual shots. Right, and we want to remember to guide the ball in with our instep, leaning slightly over, touching the ball lightly, guiding it into our target. Call out mom, dad, somebody, even one of your friends. Just get in the backyard and serve up a couple. But remember, keep those toes down, ankles locked, eyes on the ball, and come all the way through. Don't be afraid, all right? Bring those feet up, strike that ball, back to your target. Hopefully it's mommy, daddy, or a friend. Now we're going to talk about another skill, another technique, and that's turning with the ball. We're going to be turning with the outside of our foot and the inside of our foot, usually to the outside of our body, but also we can do the Cruyff turn as well. Yeah, and what you want to do, why turning with the outside is so important, is you want to create some space between the defender and the ball. And when you turn to the outside, the only way they're going to get it from you is if they kick you down. And always remember, keep your eyes on the ball. Don't wait for it to come to you. Take a couple steps to meet it so the defender doesn't come from behind you to steal it and caress the ball. It's an easy touch. It's not a blast. It's not too much power. It's a guided motion. All right, so take control of it. Lift and be gentle, okay? Let's do a couple here. So the ball is rolling in. There it is. You're turning to okay. your right and you're turning to your left. Excellent. Let's go again to your right, guiding that ball ever so gently to your left, right. The other thing we want to do, as you were saying, Nigel, is make sure we have our body between the ball and the opponent. And what we can do is put our shoulder down, dip our shoulder, lean into the turn. When we lean into the turn, it gives us momentum and the ball stays closer as well. Sure. And always remember, pay attention to what you're doing. Look, be aware. Always know where you are on the field so you know if to turn outside, you know if to turn inside, right? You know if to cross, you know what to do so you have a less chance of losing the ball. Right. Again, keep the ball close to you, on your toes at all times. We're taking a step forward to the ball, turning to the outside, turning to the outside. So let's do some more demonstration on the open field. Helping us to demonstrate the volley touch and the volley shot are two of the finest players on the Cayman Islands, Shakina and Tyron. Shakina and Tyron, welcome. Thank you. It's good to have you here. So what do you say we show the people at home how we demonstrate some volley touches? Okay. Okay. All right, as you can see, Shakina first and foremost is giving a good ball to Tyron so he can set up and he meets that ball in the air with his laces. Also notice, kids, that he's not standing there waiting for something to happen. He's always on his feet, always moving. Just in case a ball might come short or it might be going a bit further, he could always make the necessary adjustments and contact the ball. Right, and look at the power and the speed with which he is guiding and directing that ball. Again, it's guiding the ball back into your target, not hitting it too softly and certainly not hitting it too hard. And his eyes are always on the ball. Look at how he's concentrating. He's never taking his eyes off of the ball always keeping his eyes on the ball and notice how many good passes he's made that's not by luck right that's by hard work all right and i think now we're going to see shakina do it and there's shakina doing basically the same thing meeting the ball in the air with her laces guiding and directing it back with just the right power just the right speed into the target right in this case the target's at their own time so he just tosses it he strikes it right back into his hand not too much power, but a real good toss back. And young ladies, this just goes to show what you can do. Great skill by Shakina and Tyrone.
Now we're on to the turns and Shakina and Tiron are going to help us out again. We're using the outsides of our feet and we're dipping our shoulder to go into the turn and provide a block to the opponent. Okay, Shakina and Tiron, what do you say? Let's do it. All right, and here's Shakina making the first of the turns, the outside of the foot. She's leaning into the ball, guiding it gently out to her right or out to her left and hopefully around the defender. That's the objective. Notice how her shoulders drop. That's to get by your defender, right? You increase stability. You have better balance when you get your shoulders. You drop your shoulders, round them off to get around the defender. And you notice that Shakina is always on her toes, always on her toes, ready to receive that ball. And guys, one important note home there is that when you turn, right, remember, take a couple quick steps. That change of speed is very, very important. So that way your defender doesn't have a chance to catch back up to you and has no chance of winning the ball. All right, and I think now we're going to see some from Tyrone. And again, it's a nice little touch around, taking a step to that ball and guiding it around. Always in control, and notice after he turns, the ball is always close to him. It doesn't go far away from him. He maintains control of the ball. So that way, if he has to get into get out of trouble, sorry, or do something that he needs to get the ball to his teammates, or maybe a quick pass, he always has the ability to do that because the ball is close to his feet. Hey, man, as they say here in the Cayman Islands. We're here once again with Mark Scotland and Nigel Roberts, and it's been a wonderful pleasure to be here in the Cayman Islands. Mark, we'd like to thank you once again for inviting us out. It was our pleasure, Antonio and Nigel. Um, and I know the kids enjoyed the wonderful week of football at the Bodentown Football Camp, and everyone's looking forward to you coming again soon. Well, we'd certainly like to be back with the Soccer Academy, all of our friends, and this place is just spectacular. Great beaches wonderful food and beside all of that it's a vibrant financial community isn't it mark yes our, our financial industry is known to be one of the best regulated in the world and we're known to be in the top five in the financial industry in the world so come on down experience the place experience the warmth the love of the people the great food and even the love of the animals. Antonio got a beautiful little kiss, a display of love from one of the Stingrays out on Stingray City. It's getting late. The sun's about to go down soon. What do you think, man? That sounds real beautiful. And we're going to sit back, have a great time here in the Cayman. Cheers from Cayman Islands. If you want to know more about the Soccer Academy, log on to www dot socceracademy.tv that's socceracademy.tv because for us soccer is always a kick in the grass